Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not going to be doing this video with, with Geeky Sparkles. Uh, of course, we're both getting over being sick, and uh, this is a comic book numbers video, and I think they bore her, so she's not going to sit in on this one. But uh, I'm going to talk about this IVC2 article that uh, comics and graphic novel sales grew over 60% in 2021. Now, I'm trying to look at the data here and figure out exactly where the growth is coming from. It seems like it's mostly manga, mostly graphic novels, and I would agree with that. I think that uh, manga sales have exploded in the last couple of years. I think uh, a lot of YA graphic novels have exploded in the last couple of years. Uh, but it's definitely being spun like all areas of comics are doing great and i can tell you that's not true uh, people working in the direct market especially for smaller publishers uh, are not doing that good uh, they really aren't the sales aren't there for most you know pamphlet comics um very seldom do you have comics breaking a hundred thousand anymore hundred thousand units and look a lot of you know comic shops that i'm know of personally have, have stopped carrying new issues of comics um or they've gone out of business you know so I, I i'm looking at this whole situation i'm like yeah i can i can believe that the sales might be up if you count everything as being comics but uh you know when we talk about comics we're usually talking about the direct market the marvel the dc the dark horse the image the idw and we know you know idw is hanging on by its fingertips we know oni press now is apparently having problems uh, so it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, right? But we'll, we'll read the article and we'll see what they have had to say. They obviously follow this a lot more closely than I do. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about comics, having worked uh, in and around the comic book industry for a number of years. And we're actually going to be publishing some more comics here pretty soon. Stay tuned for details, uh, getting, getting our bearings here. Uh, for our own publishing plans. But um, yeah, so comics and graphic novel sales grew over 60% in 2021, according to a new estimate estimate by ICV2 and Comicron. So you got to take their word for it. Now, ICV2's always been pretty accurate. Comicron, for the longest time, has been kind of the, the go-to for numbers on monthly books anyway. Um, but, uh, they're saying that things are, are through the roof. Now it is an estimate. We don't know for sure, but they're saying it's, it's gone from like $1.28 billion in sales to 2.075 billion. Um, they said publishers made more selling comics content than in any year in the history of the business, even when adjusted for inflation, said Miller of the 2021 estimates. Now that is very curious because, the 90s, the early 90s were huge. Late 80s, early 90s were huge for comics. And there were comic shops in every corner. I mean, my town, um, you know, growing up, and it wasn't a huge, huge town. We had about, it was about 80,000 people. We had four comic shops at one point. You know, and they were all good comic shops, but we had four freaking comic book shops. And uh, now I don't think there, there was maybe one, maybe one, my old hometown. I don't know. Um, the biggest year in the modern era, 93, which I believe, saw sales of around $1.6 billion in 2021 dollars. And the price year product mix puts 2021 ahead of what the colossal circulations of the early 1950s brought in, also adjusted for inflation. But we're also dealing with uh, graphic novels that are more expensive um, you know, than, than periodicals. Uh, topping 2020 numbers was easily done as most brick and mortar retailers were shut down to foot traffic for periods during the year. It's more impressive that the numbers exceeded 2019's by hefty margin. Graphic novel sales were especially strong in the manga category and periodical comics also had a great year easily beating 2019. Um, it, it's very, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm saying that the, this is an estimate and um, I, I need to see a better breakdown because it feels like in some ways, I, I will tell you, you know, when it comes to manga and, and graphic novels, getting press time is very hard as a publisher. I, I, you know, again, have friends who work for manga publishers and they're like, yeah, we're talking, you know, six, eight months out and we have to schedule press time because we can't get printing, um, you know, because there's such a massive demand for, for manga. 
Uh, well, graphic novels lead the way, comic sales also exhibited high growth in 2021. Graphic novels were up an astounding 76% growth across channels, while comics were up 53% versus 2020 and up uh, 23% in 2019. Also impressive was the growth across channels. Sales were up across all types of retailers. Uh, sales through comic stores were up 60% versus last year, while a lot of them were shut down, and 34% versus 2019. Um, sales through the book channel, including book fairs, which are back in operation, grew a blistering 81% pace. Digital growth, while slower, was coming off a gangbuster year in 2020 during the shutdowns. The only sub-channel which dropped was the newsstand portion of our other channel, and crowdfunding uh, grew enough to offset that loss. Crowdfunding was huge. Uh, the increased dollars in the comics format and in the comic stores were generated by fewer releases than in pre-pandemic years. Okay. Um, I, I want to talk about it because I think this this might actually um, be part of the problem with comics just in general. The comic shop market and the comic book format rebound, uh, rebounded strongly, beating pre-pandemic unit and dollar sale numbers, even with new release slates that had not yet returned to 2019 sizes. I don't think it's sustainable for, for uh, the comic book industry to churn out as much crap as it's been churning out. I, you know, if I were in charge and I never will be in charge, but if I were in charge of like Marvel or DC or something like that, I'd be like, we put out 20 good books a month, you know, 15, 20 good books a month, kind of like Marvel was back, you know, when I was reading it, you know, they had their little checklist and you could realistically with your lawn mowing money, buy most of the comics every month, but they all sold a lot. I'd rather put out 15, 20 good comics that all sell over a hundred thousand copies each then put out, you know, 70, 80 freaking titles a month, you know, spray and pray. It's just, it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, changes to the analyst methodology for estimating sales through comic stores after big changes in comic distribution reporting continue for 2021 changes to the methodology. Okay. Uh, the analyst now uses data based on sales tracked at point of sale by the comic hub system at over a hundred stores. I remember that thing being introduced a hundred stores. So we're talking a hundred stores, a hundred stores are accounting. For, well, this kind of reminds me of, um, it kind of reminds me of the New York times bestseller list where they, they have a very, very small sampling of bookstores that matter. And they try to determine that these books are the best selling books in the country based on, you know, these couple of dozen stores and the publishers know which stores to, you know, promote the books at because if they sell at this, this store and this store and that store, it's going to look like they're actually selling a lot more copies. The problem is we don't know exactly how many units are being sold. We're taking, it's an estimate based on a very small sampling. We have used that data to build a model of sales for the entire comic store channel using comparisons developed during periods in which comic hub and diamond reporting overlap. So a sampling of a hundred stores is going to give you an indicator of the entire, the health of the entire industry. I don't, that sounds really dodgy. And then they're talking about book scan again, you know, everywhere you buy books, uh, it's book scan MPD. Um, some publishers classify titles that are primarily text or art books as graphic novels. Okay. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of little things here. A lot of little things you got to look at. Uh, MPD book scan covers approximately 85% of the overall U S trade print book market. Some publishers classify titles that are primarily text or art books as graphic novels. Those titles are manually removed from the analysis. Okay. This year for the first time via information provided by MPD book scan, we're able to incorporate sales on graphic novels, not classified as such by the publishers, uh, like mouse, um, as presented above. And in the accompanying infographics, the analysis by Comicron ICV2 was divided up between periodical comics, graphic novels, digital downloads. All print figures are calculated based on the full retail price of books sold into the market and do not account for discounting or markup. Uh, digital sales do not include subscription-based all-you-can-read services. Uh, the other channel includes newsstand, uh, Kickstarter, crowdfunding, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I need more data. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's crowing about this. And I've, I've seen, you know, a lot of different blogs 
uh, talking about it. Uh, Heidi McDonald's talking about it and being like neener, neener, you know, people who said comics are in trouble, they're not in trouble. But then the thing is, is you go out to Twitter and you see all these comics pros out of work or, you know, worried about where their next gig is coming from or finding out that their book has been canceled. Uh, Oni Press now, they've, they've uh, fired some people from Oni Press and now people are trying to chase them for money. Uh, IDW, we know that they're in a very similar situation. Um, we know that uh, DC's future is up in the air right now because of uh, you know the Warner Discovery merger. I don't know what's going to happen with Marvel Comics because you know Bob Chapek likes to cut. Um, you know it, it it does not seem like if this is the case. And I'm not saying it's not the case. If this is the case, uh, comic creators do not seem to be participating in this this uh, bounty. Right, unless they are creating their own books or you know not being worked for hire or whatever, or not doing crowdfunding, um, but if they're working for you know the mainstream comic book industry, they're not they're not making money hand over fist. Why are so many people leaving DC Comics and taking like Substack deals if things are so fantastic? Why is everybody trying to jump ship and go to Hollywood if things are so fantastic? You know, so I, I think the bulk of it probably is manga. Uh, for sure, everybody's reading manga now. Kids are reading manga, and I think it's great. I mean, I think it's great that people are reading comics, um, and I'm not going to knock that at all. Uh, but I, again, I, I need I need more data because this is an estimate based on what appears to be a very small sampling, um, and just anecdotally, I'm looking at a lot of comic shops being out of business, or, or uh, you know, a lot of them deciding not to carry new material, and I'm just kind of like, huh really like really i don't know anyway that's what they said i'm gonna wrap it up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later now he's just tasty delicious rotten flesh meat which i can consume don't read into it too much just like our museum the cafe it's open to brute through it eager to serve i don't think this was in the show no, run 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 you got splatted! No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face! I don't care! Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Dude, not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe! Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him! Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle to Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>